Well, this March, in just a few days, you may find yourself gravitating toward the Adler Planetarium. It's fully reopening for the first time since the pandemic began. And as Morning Insider Tim McNicholas finds out, some of its new additions are out of this world. <laughs> This space is actually the original planetarium space. Mike Smell is about to leave Earth without leaving the lakefront. He's the director of theaters and digital experience at the Adler. So this is a, a huge interstellar cloud. Smell invited me with him on this space journey in the planetarium's iconic dome theater. And he'll soon invite you too. We're over the moon, uh, pun intended. The, the opportunity to get the public and get guests back in the Adler uh, meet them, engage them. It's an opportunity he's missed since March of 2020, the last time the planetarium was fully open to the public. This week, the staff is preparing down to the letter, fixing signage and display cases. Incredibly happy, <laughs> counting down the minutes. You will still find all your old favorites, like the chance to touch an actual piece of Mars or the moon, but the planetarium is also excited about some new additions. Come on in. In the Doan Observatory, We've been chomping at the bit wanting to use this telescope. The planetarium installed a massive new telescope in early 2020, but Director of Public Observing Michelle Nichols explains it's been lost in orbit since the pandemic started. We've literally only used it about 10 times in the last two years. Now they'll open up the roof for the public to use it on Wednesday nights. And this July, they'll welcome another new addition, a life-size replica of the Perseverance rover currently on Mars. The main thing is direct interaction with people and the sky, and that's what we do best. From the Adler Planetarium, where Earthlings will soon return, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Well, the big reopening date is Friday, March 4th. You can get tickets now. For more stories like this one, download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section called Morning Insider.